Yeah. I know Gordy Howe was born in the grandfather's era and your dad's era maybe, but uh, did you take any example from from the way he conducted himself? Ah, uh, yeah. Just you know, the hockey, as everyone says. Um, you know, one of the greatest of all time on and off the ice. And I think you hear more about how great of a person he was than just a hockey player. I think that hits home to the majority of the NHL players now and in the past. I think it's all about being a better person than a hockey player. The hockey player is going to end, end, uh, end fairly soon, but uh, he was just a tremendous ambassador and role model for the game. Uh, everything he's done is uh, it's pretty tremendous and he'll never, uh, never be forgotten and I'm sure he's sad that. Did you ever meet him or have any encounter I, with him at all? I saw him at actually the first game that I played in Detroit. Uh, my first start, he was in the concourse there when we were walking in, but we were just walking into the game and I, I sort of just walked by him a couple other times, but unfortunately... Probably be a little nervous too, wouldn't Yeah, I don't know what to say, walk up there and say hello, so... Uh, but, no, I unfortunately had everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Good, good stuff, so... Yeah. Uh, Brad Pond's birthday, does yeah. it mean to you to be here for him to be 35? Yeah, no, it's great for him, you know, I'm glad that I got home in time to get back for this, and uh, it's great to see a couple people uh, come out and show his support. Brad's, he's a figure in our city, you know, yep. and everyone knows him, he's all over the place, he's involved in everything, he's great, uh, keeps him busy, and, you know, he's a tremendous ambassador of our city, and, you know, he's my biggest fan, so. He'd be a bigger celebrity than you are. Yeah, <laughs> and that is, that is great for him, um, you know, he's my biggest fan, he follows me all the time, and it's the least I can do, and, uh, you know, he wants to come down to St. Louis next year, so we'll see if that happens. Good, good yeah. stuff. Great, Jake. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. How you doing? Hey, good. I'm not like him. I'm a blogger here. Okay. The last goalie I interviewed was uh, Ken Dryden. Oh, nice. I gotta ask you one, a couple yeah. of questions. I used to play goalie. How many? Okay. How many games have you, have you played in the NHL? Uh, I think I played about a hundred, a little yeah, hundred now. Hundred now. How would how would you see today, uh, yesterday's goalies? Like I used to play goalie. Yeah. They made it be hockey. I don't watch hockey like I used to. Yeah. Because I always said, my God, the, the trapper was a, D, a, a GM12. Yeah. And when you made a save, the pads were about yeah. 40, 40, yeah. 50 pounds. Uh, you could have the goalie equipment, just lift it. Yeah. After the game, you would carry yeah. that. You know, you had to be Hercules to be a goalie. Um, when I see a goalie say, oh, but I want to save. Yeah. I mean, it's, what would you see a goalie like Ken Dryden, Tony Esposito, Eddie Jackman in today's goalie equipment? Uh, yeah, I think it's not just the equipment. I think it's more the evolution of goaltending. You know, it, it grew every year and just it changes. The, you know, it's it's the style of play. Uh, you know, with the, with the technology in the world in general, guys are in better shape. They they're on their knees. They find ways to you know stop pucks. And you know, back then, I don't think I could ever play that way. You know, with the pads and, and the things that they played, and they had a lot of courage to get in there, especially with no masks on and uh, very limited. Got it right here. Got yeah. a face mask. I yeah. got about 22 stitches. So they're uh, it's pretty impressive to me. It's um, it, what could happen? Like, like I said, I don't watch hockey like I used to. What could be done to make the sport like a goalie make a save? Like last night, yeah. for for an example, I watched the last six yeah. six minutes. What's that? Drones of yeah. the goalie? You know that big save he made yeah. there at the end? Yeah. Okay, they, they look at it fast. Wow, yeah. you know, but. The goalie equipment is so light, you know, like, but is, is today's sport, is the puck faster than they used the to be? The game's way faster. Is it? Oh yeah, the players are, the players are so fast. It's, uh, it's a different ball game when you're on the ice with these players, you know, you can watch it from uh, TV or in, in the stands at an arena, but once you get on the ice, uh, if you're not on your toes, you're, uh, you're done. Your toes. You have no chance. It's it's amazing, and that's why it's so hard. I think for players to get to the league, and just the guys work so hard to, to get to that level, and they're so quick. It's it's, it's tough. You a fan of Don Cherry? Yeah. You I've always been. I've always been. I've always watched hockey night in Canada. You know what they used to call me? What? They call me Billy Smith, and then yeah. they I graduated to Ronnie Hextall. You go. You're you're a mean guy in that. <laughs> oh, I mean, any. I always said. If a guy took a slap shot, I don't know if yeah. it's the same thing. A guy took a slap shot from the blue line. Yeah. He could focus on the deflection. Yeah. But if he knows there's a nutcase yeah. in the back, he wants to hit the leg yeah. behind with the yeah. stick there. Yeah. Once in a while, he's going to look back. Yeah. So then 
it disturbs his concentration. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know. So, you so can you? Do they still do that, the goalies? Or? Uh, no, that's you, you. You can't even. It's tough. The game. There's so many penalties nowadays. There's no stick infractions. It's you do get away with some punches here and there, but not too much. You'll uh, you'll be getting called for it. Not like the old days. So is it more interesting hockey these days uh, than it was just, the old days? Fast. I think it's, they just are you more ADHD? They're more yeah. faster. Yeah, it's just <laughs> trying to uh, you know get the speed up in the game and create more goals. Goals brings fans, and uh, that's what fans want to see. So I think they try to get rid of all that other stuff uh -huh. just to get chances. So maybe I should uh, go back and watch hockey like I used to. I mean, yeah. the, so the, is, are they going to put the net bigger? Uh? I don't think so. I, I, that's out of my hands, but I don't. I don't see them doing that because it changes the integrity of the game. It's been like that its whole entirety since hockey created, started, and I don't see them ever changing. You know, when I used to play goalie, you know what the referee was all mad at me? I used to want to have a drink of water. Yeah. The, the water bottle. Yeah. Oh no no no! But there wasn't no water bottle on the net. On the net. Yeah. You know things yeah. like that. You know, know. And then the face mask. But yeah. now you had the cat eyes cat mask, yeah. and the thing. How much? How much a goalie mask costs now? I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have to pay money. You're lucky. Anymore. You're lucky. But they're not cheap. Goalie equipment is uh, very expensive nowadays. For even when I was growing up, it was it was really getting pricey here. So for your parents to splurge on goalie equipment, it's, it's pretty tough. So what do you do when the person that's poor or whatever is say, "Mommy, I want to be a goalie." What yeah. happens there? You know? I don't know. A lot of there's a lot of used equipment around, and you know, I think kids grow so quick. You don't need new equipment all the time. You can once you're full up, full grown, maybe you can get some new stuff. But I think if you can get hand me downs and things like that it, it just makes life easier. I'm almost done how yeah. much okay you buy how much your pad your goalie pads will cost I know you don't pay yeah, for I it I think if you went to McTavish's they're probably fifteen hundred dollars fifteen hundred how about the trapper and the uh, I'm gonna guess probably three four hundred bucks and uh, a goalie stick did I hear uh, uh, yeah they probably about seventy five dollars seventy five dollars so I'm you're just so it. if there's a weak goal that goes in you're not gonna break it right on top of the crossbar no I don't think so I don't do that anymore. I get I get in trouble so. Hey, they get in trouble. Yeah. Listen, uh, I like your uh, public relations skills. Yeah, nice thank to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Later. Uh oh. Gotta, if I interview him much longer, look out.